to stop the chemical, physical, and emotional mutilation of our youth. On day one, I will revoke Joe Biden's cruel policies on so-called gender-affirming care. Ridiculous. A process that includes giving kids puberty blockers, mutating their physical appearance, and ultimately performing surgery on minor children. Can you believe this? I will sign a new executive order instructing every federal agency to cease all programs that promote the concept of sex and gender transition at any age. I will then ask Congress to permanently stop federal taxpayer dollars from being used to promote or pay for these procedures and pass a law prohibiting child sexual mutilation in all 50 states. It'll go very quickly. I will declare that any hospital or health care provider that participates in the chemical or physical Ooh. mutilation of minor years. Here's my plan. Please do not Trump. Go do not Trump. You will not understand why I'm excited. But imagine how bad this world has become and what we are seeing as normal in this world. Imagine giving children puberty blockers. Puberty is a stage in one's life when the reproductive system begins to function. But you started giving, you approved that they can now give children puberty blockers. Do you know how crazy it is? That means a girl, a young girl, will stop seeing a period because the parents are saying that this girl is not meant to be a girl, that they wanted a boy. So the doctor will give the child a puberty blocker so that the boy, the child, will stop seeing the appearance that is meant to make the child be like a, a, a girl. The child will no longer be like a girl, it will be like a man. So the child will no longer grow breasts. They've given him, they'll give, they've given up puberty blockers. Breast will not come out again. Can you just imagine how crazy this is? Under Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, and people still want Kamala Harris to be president. I'm like, what is going on? Do you know how well these people ruin and they turn the world upside down? They turn the world upside down. You are teaching homosexuality to children that it's okay for a boy of seven years to be kissing another boy of seven years? Can you just imagine? You are putting it in their cartoons. You are forcing it and putting it and making it look as if it's normal. How did they give birth to you if it was normal? How did your parents give birth to you? Bringing drag to, 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 to children classes to teach them how to be drag queens and whatnot. Thank you, Donald Trump. Thank you. The craziest part is that they didn't stop there. They were trying to force it around the whole world. Telling Africans that they were telling some African countries that they will not aid them again, they will not support them if they don't allow homosexuality in their country, LGBTQ. Da, 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 da. Thank you, Donald Trump. The next thing now will move straight. The part I like is that it will create an avenue and it will support whoever wants to sue any doctor. Any doctor that carried out any operation on you before and you didn't like it, you sue them, make money of them. The next one that you will do now, I know, is the war between Ukraine and Russia. That war, have it has claimed a lot of life. It has put the world, it has caused a very great imbalance around this war. They should stop that war. Then go to Israel. You see, this is why me, I wanted him. Our interests align. Also, Kamala, Joe Biden, Obama. Now, Obama could bring the nonsense. Go Donald Trump. I would rather a racist Donald Trump than any other. A racist Donald Trump with sense and morals. Than any other person that is not racist ever. Go Donald Trump. Go Donald Trump. 